Hi, I'm Mark from Polar Windows. This is Jim. Um, in these unprecedented times, we've decided to come up with this way of uh, getting our products to you at home, or if you don't feel comfortable coming to a showroom or you don't want us at your house. Um, so we're going to show you around our showroom in a minute. I've been doing this since I was 17. I'm now 47, so 30 years in the industry. I'm a uh, window fitter by trade, so we've built this company up from zero to what it is now. Um, Jim, do you want to say anything? Been in the industry a long time myself, since I was 16, background in manufacturing and fitting and servicing, and a big part now of the sales at Polar Bear Windows. Worked with Mark now for the best part of 20 years, and it's been amazing. <laughs> we, we have a full team of people, uh, about 30 of us, about 15 fitters and 15 in, in the showroom and uh, office staff. So, go on, Jim. Yeah, there's quite a few of us built from scratch. I remember when it was just the two of us, a long time ago now. We've come a long way. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what we've got to remember is we're, no, we're not actors. This is all off the cuff. There's no script. Um, so you'd have to bear with us uh, on what we're saying and what we're doing, but we will try our best. Uh, as I said, this hasn't been planned. Um, these sad times that we're all in, but we'll do the best we can. Come on into our showroom. And I'm Jim, not Ryland from Supermarket Sweep. Right guys, yeah, so we just walked into our showroom. We're gonna have a little walk around and show you different key products, quality products that we got. So again, just let me, re let me reinstate, we're not actors. Um, this is all off the cuff, so there might be a bit of fun between me and Jim. We might have a bit of a laugh and a giggle, but we are very serious at what we do here at Polar Windows, like nearly 2,000 five-star reviews, excellent reputation. So Jim, do you want to just explain about this door and the color? Composite door, anthracite grey. Very popular colour at the minute. As you can see, this particular one comes with this choice of glass. It's nice, not for me, but there are plenty of other versions out there for you to choose from. Have you noticed on this one, Mark? It's got a small handle on. There's also a medium one, and there's also a longer one. That's three choices of handle for you. <laughs> Again, we're only having a bit of fun as well, come on. <laughs> so this is a door when it's open, yeah? Beauty. There's all your locks going down there. So this one's got mm. four point locking. Remember it's a rock solid composite door. So PVC doors normally have six locks. This has got four with the deadbolt in the middle. Secure by design, please approved, passed and assured. Yeah. As Jim said, this is white on the inside. Letterbox, cho white choice of colors. 99% of the time, all of the inside doors on composites are all in white. Do you know why they keep them white on the inside, Mark? No, go on, tell me. They keep them white on the inside. It keeps the hallway bright. Hallways, they don't get a lot of light. What you want to do, you don't want to put dark colors in. Keep it white, keep it bright for you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, what I want to do is now demonstrate for you the Origin bifolding door, the Rolls-Royce versions of bifolding doors. This particular door is wonderful because it's dual color, which means you can have two colors, the popular anthracite gray on the outside, and then a particular color of your choice on the inside. This one happens to be golden oak, it's not a color of choice, but what this golden oak color does example is the grain. No other doors come in a grained finish other than these origin doors. They really are ahead of the game regarding their, their research and development and the furniture and everything they use within this door is all very high-end stuff. Even down to the anti-finger trap where you can put your fingers in there, close the door and it doesn't hurt, only a little bit. The rest of the door, move the handle on the inside, open it up, all three slide along. All this open space, all this open space for you and your family to come in and out as much as you want in the summer times when the weather is like it is at the minute. Beautiful, get these doors open, barbecue, sat down here in the kitchen lounger. Wow, it's what dreams are made of. This is our casement range. This is an example of a bow bay with a canopy, a galley bracket in five different colors. Rosewood, golden oak, Irish oak, black, and white. Notice on this one as well, the decorative inserts. This one here, six mil antique lead in a border, nice. This one here, internal Georgian bar. Georgian bar, that's inside the glass. Here, 
Golden bar, bars, round, very decorative. In a border again, looking good. Same example here in cream. And then the astrical bar, the very popular one, the bar that mounts on top of the glass. Unlike the Georgian bar, which is inside the glass, the astrical bar goes on top of the glass. Back to back spacers inside. So it actually looks like it's individual glass units when it's not. It's just one glass unit with back to back spacer bars inside the glass unit. And then these duplex astrical bars on top, giving that lovely ornate decorative look. Lovely. What I want to show you as well, the differences between two styles of windows that happen to be exactly the same. This one here, for example, opens there, opens there. This window here also opens there and opens there. This is a fixed piece of glass. This is also a fixed piece of glass, but you will see that this looks like it is an opener. It's not an opener. It's what we call a dummy vent. What it does, it keeps everything flush on the outside and keeps all the glass equal with sizes and sight lines and what have you. You can see here, this one here recesses back in. Some people prefer to add, the, add in the dummy vent. It's only a small additional cost. And what it does, it just keeps it flush from the appearance from the outside. A nice little advantage. Here's also a selection of leaded bevels, different designs that we can do. You can have these in the top of bays, next to doors, anywhere you want in the house really. But ideally we put them in the top of bays that goes all the way around. Only available if you live at number 58. So this is a side opening window, casement. As it opens up there, as you can tell, see, you cannot get your hand in to clean it. This at the moment is set on a fire escape because you've got maximum room to get out of in the event of emergency. When the window is fully open in position, you can slide the bottom open, slide the top open, that will allow you to clean it from inside. When you pull the window back and reopen it, it goes back to fire escape. So this is a locking system, as you see the locks going up and down there. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's also seven, eight, nine, ten on the back and also one, two on the hinges. So that's 12 point lock in on one opener. For you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is a, a casement window again. This is a push out, which we'd normally put over like a kitchen where you've got the gap between the kitchen and the window, 600 mil. So you can reach the handle low down. Window pushes right out like that. And it's the same with a top opener. Window pushes right out. French doors. You have your prime side, the side that opens first. Multi-locking system again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Slave side. This is the side that opens second. They go all the way back. This one isn't on restrictors, but you do have a choice of having restrictors. They will restrict the door opening up so far to a 90 degree or further if you wish. Once they're both open, you get to benefit the whole open space. Imagine this on the back of the house, all that light coming through. Again, in the nicer months of the year, partying, weather is good, in and out, kids, not a problem, enough space. Don't forget, Jim, to explain, if you've got walls over the side, the door will only open as far as the hinge goes near the wall. So it won't open fully like that. That's when the restrictors will restrict it at that full 90 degrees well is the low threshold on this one this one has got a low threshold on it which means it's flush with the floor level because it's in a shea room and we like to detail all levels of threshold there is a different threshold to this there is a full threshold you have to have this in certain situations if the differential between your finished floor level and your dpc level is like that we will put the thicker threshold on for you or if it's a new build situation down to our surveyor john he will measure it correctly and he will achieve and get you a flush floor level which is brilliant, again, for children and things like that. There is no trip hazard. I repeat, there is no trip hazard with a threshold like this. Irish oak tilt and turn window. Brilliant window, the only window that opens inwards in the UK. Go to Europe, all windows open inwards, where of course all ours opens outwards. This window, two functions, quarter turn, tilts in from the top, brilliant. Safe and secure for children if it's in a children's bedroom and great for letting in ventilation. Option two, handle goes all the way up, window opens all the way in. Brilliant in a situation where we need to achieve a fire escape window, but it's not big enough. As you can see, this is not quite big enough, but still big enough that I can escape outwards in the case of an emergency. A wonderful window available here at Polar Bear Windows. This is a white UPVC patio door. 
handle goes down, slides all the way back and closes all the way back up. These can be made up to three metres wide. Is that right, Jim? In a two pane. In a two pane, three metres wide. If you have side panels, you can go wider. Another choice other than a bifold door. Want to point out the vintage door range to you. Now, these doors look like composite doors, but they're not. Composite doors are fantastic, but sometimes they do have an issue with how small they can go and how big they can go. And some people have smaller houses with smaller doors. Therefore, the, van, the, the vintage door is perfect for that. It can be made a lot smaller than the composite doors. It can be made a lot bigger. It's available in all the colors. It's available in many designs. This is actually a contemporary version of a style of door. Notice the dark blue in color and the contemporary satin glass with the chrome handles and the matching letterbox. Whereas there is a traditional door in the same kind of thing that I'm gonna show you. The traditional version. It's from the same range, just a different example. The traditional version. Traditional golden oak, again with the satin glass, the white frame that tends to come as standard, the brass furniture to complement the color. Again, these doors all come with high security, multi-locking points, and a great version of a door, just in case we can't get you a composite that fits. We also have a wide range of textured glass. This one's Cotswood, Stipolite, Oak, Minster, and taffeta. Let's see if Jim can remember his five. Can I remember my five? Put me on the spot now. I'm going to go with charcoal sticks, Everglade, Chantilly, Floreal, and satin. Yeah, correct. Also, some of the patterns, if you can come round here, most of the glass will have different obscurity levels from one to five. If you follow my hand down, this is what you would look like stood behind. Our most popular colour range at the moment is Amphasite Grey 7016. This looks absolutely stunning. It's my favourite colour. This is a four pane black aluminium bifolding door with a traffic door and then a three pane bifold. Do you want to open that one up, Jim? All the way around. Touch. Easy. One finger. Easy. One finger. Full opening. <laughs> Popular question. Do we do integral blinds? Of course we do. This, these integral blinds are in a four pane aluminium black bifold indoor. This one. As you can see, you get your magnet operational thing here at the top. You move it like so, and they tilt. Bring it all the way down. You have your glass. Take it all the way up. You have your privacy. I want to talk to you about trickle vents. This is the outside of a trickle vent. This is what they look like. Aesthetically pleasing, slim, and we can do the same color to match the color of the window. You can see on the outside of here, you have these grills. That's to stop the spiders and everything getting in. Behind or underneath this, you'll see the, you see the slots. This is, how, this is what allows the air to flow through to the inside. This is the inside of a trickle vent. It's easy to control and regulate. You flip it open for airflow. You simply close it for no airflow. Note all the different colors that are available. They're all here for your patio doors, your back doors, front doors. I fold indoors, many a colour to choose from. This is a casement window, all with equal sights, so all the sight lines are the same, all the glass lines are the same. The benefit of this one is this has what's called a French casement, so if you've got a small window and you need to gain a fire escape, we can do what's called a French casement. I'll show how it works, it's easier to demonstrate. Can you open up please, Jim? So you've got your main casement window there, then you've got your French casement, so the whole window opens up to give you maximum fire escape if needed. And also, this is also nice if you live in a cottage or you want to let a load of light into your bedroom or your kitchen. Flush sash windows, two types. This one here, slightly more cost effective, yeah. traditional in the way that it's been welded together as most UPVC products have. This is the R9 version of 
flush sash windows, um, more authentic in the way of how they join them rather than weld them. Great looking window, again detailed in the anthracite grey, the choice of two, both available for you guys. Yep. Stable door guys, top half opens, bottom half stays shut, bottom half can also open, multi-locking point systems again, open up the two, if you just want your airflow in the kitchen, you want the bottom half closed, close the bottom half, dog can't escape or the dog can't come in, but yet you've got your airflow. Close the top half up, lock it up, job done. Aluminium windows guys, two versions. We have a contemporary window, we have a traditional looking window. Start with a contemporary looking window. The contemporary window is a contemporary window because it looks like a contemporary window. It's flat, it's modern, and it has a lovely flush appearance to it. As you can see, with these opening sections, they're square, they're flat, they're contemporary, they're flush, they're modern. The more I call the more traditional window, looks more like a traditional window. Note how the bevels on the sashes are more proud and more traditional looking to what everybody's used to, rather than the slim, flat, contemporary version. Okay, ready now to demonstrate the new wave door. Fantastic door. Looks like a bifold door, but it's not. It does what bifolds don't do. Bifold doors are connected by each pane with hinges. This door you'll see isn't. You have a traffic door, opens up this end. Restricted to open up to a 90 degree, won't go any further. This pane slides, pushes. A little lever here, opens. This door slides, pushes, opens. This panel here slides, pushes and opens all that open space, just like what you would have got from a bifolding door. But like I said, these panes aren't connected, so you have flexibility. Bifolding doors, you can generally use throughout the year, don't get me wrong, but you can't use your bifold doors throughout the year, but you can use this door, for example. It's a nice sunny day in the middle of December, but you'd like a little bit of airflow and a little bit of fresh air, open up the doors, open up the panels and, put, and space them out like this. You get your airflow, but yet you still get your kind of privacy and other advantages. And then it simply will close all the way back into place for then the door Simply close and lock. Simple as that. Okay. okay, here we have a guardian roof. Guardian roof, relatively new in the market. We've been doing them now, however, for a while and we're getting extremely good at them. They are roofs that will go simply on top of your existing conservatory if you have the issue of where it's too cold in the winter, too hot in the summer, all that heat escaping out through the existing roof you have, whether it be glass or polycarb. We can take that roof off and we can put something on like this. It's a heavily insulated roof with replicated tiles to try and match what you have on the house, for example, or you can simply choose a tile of your choice and color. These roofs are extremely lightweight and they are extremely good for retaining heat. So therefore you will be able to use that conservatory all year round. Whereas at the minute, I know you're probably in that situation where it's not nice, you've got no love for the conservatory. It's time to get some love back for the conservatory and get yourself one of these roofs. I'll show you in the inside shortly, but I just want to show you a couple of things on the outside, like the advantages of having a Velux roof, if you wish, a Velux opener, sorry. Um, this will obviously help with ventilation and will also help with light. Um, every one of these roofs comes complete with new guttering systems that 
that obviously includes stain pipes and things like that. It's a cracking roof and um, you'd be surprised how quickly we can fit these. We can literally turn up on a Monday and have you all done by Wednesday. That does include all the work on the inside, all the plaster and the electrics and everything. I'll tell you a little bit more about the inside now. Inside of the Guardian roof. Great example this is because you get the cross section here so you can see the different sections that are involved in this roof. For example, there's your outside there, the tiles. There's your OSB board. There's your aluminium structure there. Look at that insulation. That's what's going to keep your conservatory warm in the winter and it's going to keep it cool in the summer. You then have your plaster board and then your plaster finish all ready for painting. Note the spotlights, they come automatically with the roof, depending on the size, depends on how many spotlights. Every person and who has ever had one of these and the feedback we get from our customers who have taken their existing roof off and put one of these roofs on have basically said it's the best money they've ever spent and one of the best decisions they've ever made. We also do hot tubs as well, available in many colours, sizes and designs for the people that appreciate the finer things in life. Thanks, more Gil. The VS window, one here, white UPVC, gold fittings, astrical bar. Now, brilliant window this is. You unlock it from the middle, doing it this way. The bottom section will slide up so far, or if the bottom section's down, the top section will slide down so far. You can change this with the travel restrictors. This is a brilliant option for security and stop the children escaping in any way, shape or form. We all know what kids are like. It will, no, it will not open any further than that because of these travel restrictors here. Once you engage them, they pop out. It stops this lifting up so far. Put it back down into position. And this is now at the bottom. You, could, you can, if you wish, pull the top down. It will only slide so far. So those travel restrictors hit, giving you your airflow up here. It's a brilliant window, especially for upstairs when it comes to cleaning. You take these knobs here, you push them in, window comes in, and you can clean it like so. Brilliant function. You can also do that with the top, the same thing, pushing these two in, cleaning it from outside, job done. No need of a window cleaner. Sorry, window cleaners. To put it back into position, just click it back in place, pick it up, push this one back into place, push it down, Center, done. That's your VS window. Want to quickly show you these new slam shut locks. What basically happens is, is that you have these two little prongs there, if you like. Once the door closes, they hit the receiver here and automatically throw out the hook, which is a brilliant idea because you don't have to get your keys out every time and pull the handle up and lock the door. You can simply close it like that and that is locked solid. I mentioned keys a minute ago, because you don't have to have keys, you can have a thumb turn if you wish. Simply turn the thumb turn, now it's double locked, which means that it's anti-bolster and anti-jemmy, and nobody can get at those locks in any way and throw them back. You can, however, to unlock it, unlock it like that, twist it a bit further, operate the latch, and then the door opens. And then it will simply close again, hooks are engaged, double locked, unlocked, open up the latch and open it like so, as easy as that.